Hello, friends. This week we're dealing with Chapter 2, Creating Text and Gradients in Adobe Illustrator. So right here you can see that I'm working in Canvas. I'm going to go over to Lesson 2. And you can see the pages are in your Illustrator book, the Adobe Revealed, pages 2.2 through 2.4. 41 is where we begin. I'm in my book right now on page 2, 2, and 2, 3 have great illustrations of different panels that you're going to be using, but I'm going to go ahead and jump forward, and we're going to start with page 2 slash 6. It says open Adobe Illustrator 2 slash 1, and then save it as Barry Symposium. So here's 2 slash 1. You can see that it's downloaded here. And then I've just clicked it, and it looks like it automatically opened it up in Adobe Illustrator. I have panels over on the, my other screen. I'm going to just bring them over so you guys can see what's going on on my computer screen. And then just to make sure, you know, sometimes we have Adobe Illustrator and the files open, and they're pretty white just like this. I think it has something to do with the fact that we're opening up, opening up our Illustrator documents through Canvas. So the first thing you should do is you should go to View, Preview to make sure you can see your image correctly, and it looks like I can. I'm double clicking on my hand tool to see it full screen. And then you need to go to File, Save As, and you're going to save your work in as, as Barry Symposium in your H drive. Make sure you save it in your Chapter 2 folder. In your Book Lessons folder on your H drive. Click View on the menu bar. Then click Hide Bounding Box. if the bounding box is not showing. If the bounding box is already hidden, you won't see the bounding box command, but we saw ours on my computer. Click the Type tool and then click anywhere on the artboard. Type Barry using all capital letter letters. So I'm going to hit the caps lock and type Barry. Make sure you unclick that type that caps lock. Click the selection tool. Make sure you know the difference between your direct selection tool and your selection tool so you're using your selection tool right now. Click your selection tool and then drag the text to the center of the artboard. Click window on the menu bar. Point to type. Then click Character to show the Character Panel. My Character Panel opened up on the other screen, so I just drag it over. Click the Character Options Panel button, which is right here. Then click Show Options to view the entire panel as shown on Figure 3. I think mine are already showing, but we'll go ahead and make sure... Okay, so mine are already showing, so it says hide options. So yours might look like this. So you just click show options. That way you've got full screen of all of the different options. All right, we're on page 2 slash 7. Click the font family right here. Point to times new Roman or a similar font. You know that everything is always in alphabetical order. So we're going to scroll down to Times New Roman. Then click Regular from the font list menu. Regular. Click the font size button icon and type 142. Right here. You can see if I'm hovering, it'll tell us what it is. We're going to type 142 and hit enter. Bam. Number three, click the horizontal scale 
text box icon and type 90. So if I hover over these different options, you guys can see that I can go to the horizontal, that's the leading, the tracking, the horizontal scale, and we're going to highlight the horizontal scale and type 90. Whoops, not 900. And then press enter. Deselect all. And then compare your work to figure 5 in your book. Let's drag this over to the center of our document. I'm on page 2 slash 8. Select the text if it's not already selected, and you can see that it is. Using the character panel, click the tracking icon and type negative 30. That's the leading. That's the tracking. I'm going to highlight it and type negative 30 and hit enter. So we have a little bit less space in between the letters. Click the type tool. Then click the cursor between the B and the E, right there. Using the character panel, click up and down arrow keys in the kerning text to experiment with higher and lower kerning values. Then change the kerning value to negative 40. So once again, if you hover, you can find where the kerning is. Font, and there's your kerning. So this is the space between your two characters. And if we go up, we can create more space, or we can go down and have less space. Your book would like for you to have negative 40. So I'm just going to highlight it and type negative 40 and hit enter. Okay, so number five, using figure six as a guide, change the kerning to negative 20, zero, negative 20, 120 between the next three letters. So you've got negative 40 right here. We're going to move over between the E and the R. You're going to click that and we're going to type negative 20. Make sure you hit, whoops, <laughs> it was being very little here. So put that B back there and that E. Okay, so I'm put the cursor here, but then I need to come over to my kerning right here, and then I'm going to type negative 20 and hit enter. All right, I'm going to click between two R's, and then I'm going to type zero. I did it again. Type zero. Then I'm going to type between the R, click between the R and the Y, and then come over to my character panel and type 120 in the kerning. Negative 120. And hit enter. Click the selection tool. Click the paragraph panel name tab. Then click the Align Center button, as shown in Figure 7. When the text is center aligned, its anchor point doubles as its center. So there's the main anchor point. So we're, we centered the text to that main anchor point. Click Object. I'm going to go ahead and center this, and I would like for you to do the same thing. Then you're going to click Object on the menu bar. You will use this again, so don't get rid of it. Object on the menu bar and point to Hide Selection. Num number one on page two slash nine. Click the vertical type tool and then click anywhere on the artboard. So here's your uh, vertical type tool. You're going to click on the artboard. 
Type the word Barry in all caps. Click the selection tool and then select the text and move it to the center of your artboard. Using the character panel, change the font size to 84 points. And hit enter. Change the tracking to 160, negative 160. And once again, if you hover, you can find which of these options are your tracking. Here's your tracking, and we're going to type one, negative 160 and hit enter, squishing those letters together, and then verify both the horizontal and vertical scales are set to 100%. So we're going to look at this. This is our horizontal scale. We're going to type 100%. I have a little lag in my computer. And then here is our vertical scale, and that should say 100% too. Now we're going to deselect the text. And your text should verify, it should look just like what figure 8 looks like in your book. And then next we're going to delete this word. Your, computer, your book was just telling you how to create vertical text. So select your word, and then we're going to delete it. Turning the page, skipping forward, save your work, file, save. You are going to come back to this document and show your, show your work again.